What is heart angioplasty and stent placement? Angioplasty and stent placement are common procedures to open arteries in the heart that are clogged. These procedures are formally known as coronary angioplasty or percutaneous coronary intervention. Angioplasty involves the use of a tiny balloon to widen the artery. A stent is a tiny mesh tube that your doctor inserts into the artery. The stent stays there to prevent the artery from closing. A surgeon typically performs both procedures at the same time. Why do I need heart angioplasty and stent placement? The procedure is commonly done when a fatty substance known as plaque attaches to the walls of an artery. This is a condition known as atherosclerosis. The buildup of plaque causes the inside of the artery to narrow, restricting blood flow. What are the risks associated with heart angioplasty and stent placement? Any surgical procedure carries risks. There is an increased risk of adverse effects in angioplasty with stent placement because the procedure deals with arteries of the heart. The risks associated with the procedure include an allergic reaction to medication or dye, breathing problems, bleeding, a blockage of the stented artery, a blood clot, a heart attack, an infection, Renarrowing of the artery. How do I prepare for heart angioplasty and stent placement? If you're undergoing the procedure with plenty of time to plan, there are several things you'll need to do to prepare. Tell your doctor what drugs, herbs, or supplements you're taking. If you smoke, quit smoking. Tell your doctor about any illnesses you have, even a common cold or flu. Take any medications your doctor prescribes for you. Arrive at the hospital with plenty of time to prepare for surgery. Follow whatever instructions your doctor or surgeon gives you. What happens after heart angioplasty and stent placement? Your surgeon will probably want you to stay in the hospital overnight to ensure there are no complications, such as bleeding, blood clots, or problems with blood flow to the heart. Your stay might be even longer if you had a coronary event, such as a heart attack. When you return home, drink plenty of fluids and restrict physical activity for some time. It's important to follow your doctor's instructions.